Oh, that's good. That's Chuck Berry, John. Good music. Great music. Love it. You know, you can only play 10 seconds before we get sued. All right. You know. So goodbye, Chuck. All Bye. Right. Rest in peace. Chuck Berry. Good guy. Chuck Berry, ladies Chuck and gentlemen. Chuck Berry, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hear that applause. Thank again. you so much. Do that applause. Let's hear it for Chuck Berry. And Larry Storch. Sure, we just lost him. And Bob audience. Barker. Um, I like the... <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Tom Fawn. And I'm Jonathan Fawn. And this is Magic, Magic Moments, Moments with, with the Fawn Brothers. Brothers. This and is we, a podcast. Uh, yes, when, and we... Uh, Some would call it a Fawn cast. We are the Fawn Brothers. We are... We are the Fawn Brothers. <laughs> we are the children. Yeah, Bob Hope. The, right. Uh, we're, we're the Fawn Brothers. <laughs> and this is going to be our podcast. This is our pilot episode where we uh, kind of want to just explain what we're going to be doing. See, we we don't know what we're doing, and we know there's nobody listening. Hello, is this on? Therapy, party of two? Uh, rule number, anyway. Rule number one, don't say, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> rule number one, mash <laughs> yeast. Woody Allen, ladies and gentlemen, on our podcast. Rule number two, see number one. <laughs> Anyway, this is my brother Jonathan. He's a nice boy. Hi, Tommy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so podcasts are very popular now. They're kind of like a radio show. Somebody was asking me, what is a podcast? They really don't know. Well, I guess it's kind of like what a radio show used to be. Yeah, yeah. and that's what it's going to be. So wait, should we tell them what our rules or goals are for the uh, podcast? I I suppose. I mean, uh, you listen to podcasts, right? You like that John Pizzarelli uh, podcast. John Pizzarelli and Jessica Molaski. Who he's a jazz guitar player and she's a jazz singer, Broadway, and they have a, a podcast called Radio Deluxe out of New York, and they they play music and tell stories. It's wonderful, right? And I, I also and I also listen to Mark Maron. Mark Maron's great. Right. I listen to that, and he started with just a laptop, and he started interviewing people, and, and it's just kind of like uh, I think we're doing this mostly for us. Uh, you ever heard? The, have you ever heard the Gilbert Gottfried? Oh, my phone. Hello. What is it? Who is it? Is that your wife? It's Marianne, my sister-in-law. Oh, can't talk now. Anyway, Marianne, we'll have to text you later. This is the kind of things that'll happen. Text you later, Marianne. Live, real things. There's a great podcast by Gilbert Gottfried out of New York. and he. What is it about? And what does he say? (laughs) Right, right. Why he's doing it? Right. That's exactly the way it sounds, which can be annoying. Hey, Jafar! Yes. Let's get Aladdin and kill him. <laughs> exactly. That's and he has a guy who's like a writer who's a straight man. Okay? So he kind of feeds him. Softballs. Yeah, and, but they interview people who are in their eighties or nineties, yeah, and it's wonderful. So that's the whole. Premise. Yeah, I got a kick out of that. He had like uh, uh, he had Adam West on, and then he had uh, Will Jordan, who used to do the okay, Ed. So anyway, right. we're losing half the crowd now. Yes. There's nobody listening. You're losing me. But look, yeah. So anyway. the idea is we want to do uh, our, our own podcast, and we want to you know interview and talk to people yeah. we know who are in yeah. the business. Right. So the I'm. Business. To interview you, this Jonathan. business of show, and, right, right. Um, now, John, now maybe they should know. Uh, uh, we should tell them a little bit about who we are. Mm. Who <laughs> are you? <laughs> Less singing and more talking. All right. So Frank when Sinatra then, sings, "Who are you?" Go, Tom. Who are you? Who the hell are you? <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I am let's it welcome up. to the show, Robert De Niro. <laughs> That's it. One more. One more. One more. Yeah, he just okay, yeah. Good just uh, he just breathes. You don't need to hear he him speak. You know? yeah. Yeah, 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 Speaking yeah. of funny uh, stories, uh, yeah. yeah, you know that you um, have a funny story. Yeah, I do. A funny yeah. story about but my neighborhood. But you're prefacing it by saying it's a funny story. Well, hopefully to be funny story. But you know, we were doing a funny story. Few years ago, <laughs> few years ago, we were doing a uh, the kids when they were kids were doing a uh, lemonade stand down the street. Lemonade. And this car pulls up and uh, makes a U turn to park, and I go, "Oh, that guy probably wants lemonade." And I look at the guy, and I'm like. Yeah, he looks a lot like Al Pacino, and he gets out of the car, and guess what? It's Al Pacino. <laughs> gets out of the car, he's, he's on his uh Right iPhone, down the block whatever. from where we are right, right now, down folks. The block. It, we won't be giving you the address. It turns out he has a, let's just say he has an associate that he comes to see. I like you to meet my associate. <laughs> That's Marlon Brando. But, uh, so it's kind of funny, every now and then I see him on Wait, the street. Wait, no, isn't he seeing his therapist? Can we talk about that? I guess we just did. Maybe we shouldn't tell him. What, oh, if Tiger, what if Tiger Beat finds out that Al sees a... Uh... Dear Tiger Beat, I never thought your stories were real. <laughs> oh, wait, <listen. sighs> Talking about me and Tiger Beat. Tiger Beat! Hua! See a therapist. Podcast! Hua! Throw the frisbee, Jolly. All right, so... Uh, who the hell are you? All right, anyway, so I'm um, just saying that I, I'm not saying that we'll interview Al Pacino, but we do, God, but we live in L.A. Right. She's living in L.A. Wait, 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 this with is my a... best old ex-friend, Ray. All right, so we're oh, living, wait, 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 that was Jim Croce, uh, Operator. Oh, I, I sung it at the operator. Folk Festival 1982. That's a, that's a great song, It is. John. But look, what I'm saying is we Frank live... Sinatra sings Jim Croce. Because he's bad, bad, that Leroy Brown, you're Bob Hope. 
<laughs> all right. That's all I got. We live in L.A. Right. Um, oh, you're giving and me a little And there are many story. people uh, and stories. And, you know, right. we, you, you, we, we, we brush with, with <clears throat> famous people. Look, and here's the deal, ladies the and gentlemen. We're both actors, and we're going to bring to you some of the wonderful... Right. Funny right. actors well, and say, wonderful people well, that we know. Let's talk about the time we went to uh, uh, the Delicatessen. What, which place was it? The one know. in the valley with the bowling alley. Oh, so these are brush. You're giving well, I'm them. Just telling them you're a giving story. them brushes with brush. greatness. Well, we see this all the time. We went, we went to Jerry's Deli with right. our very good friend Jeff Nimoy, who will be a guest. We're so just go easy, guest. Jeff. You'll be a guest. Where was okay? I? How come I'm not on your show now? So we go to Lenny's Deli. Right. So we walk into Lenny's Deli, and and Jeff. No, 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 no. Jerry's Dairy. Jerry's Dairy. We'll Sorry. get to Lenny's. Well, we go to Jerry's, and, and I think Jeff and I were there first, waiting for Tommy, and the, and the woman, and then Tommy walks in, and the woman takes us to the first table. She goes, would you like to sit right here? Right. And the table was not really private. It was like a little partition with another table right next to okay, it. Okay, sidebar. I have issues. You can ask Dorothy, my beautiful wife. I have issues about where I sit. No, no, just stop wait, right wait, there. Wait. You have in, issues. In, <laughs> in restaurants, right? Okay, and, like, and you know, you might be with me the on thing this. With Tommy, I can't be too close to people where I hear that's their right. conversation. He's not comfortable. And he hates people, so he doesn't. You know, because I hate people. Right, stop. stop singing. So anyway, in the first pew, I like love people. like right now, you do. But right next to us is uh, uh, some guy sitting with Frank Stallone, who's Sylvester Stallone's brother. Hey, I meet you later at the. I meet you later at the Jerry Deli. Yes. Actually, Frank Stallone is in the first Rocky. Take you back. Okay. Do, do, Too do, much singing. Do. How so, could you not sing Take well, It Back? Well, let's sing it later. Anyway, so Take Frank back. Stallone's there. So Tommy walks in. He's like, I, I, I can't sit in that. I can't sit in that. I chair. did not notice that it was Frank Stallone. I can't sit in that table. What if, what, if, what if Sly shows up? What if they start no, singing I, Take I, It Back? Anyway, he's uncomfortable. doesn't want to sit there. So they move us to the back. They were too close to us. <laughs> so we go to the back of, of, of Jerry's They were Stallion, too close. And we sit. And then I hear uh, right behind me, I can hear somebody talking. No, sounds familiar. I, I and Tommy him. goes, I, 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 don't, turn turn, don't turn around. Yeah. But uh, William Shatner's right behind you. So behind me is William Shatner. And a I'd like some multiple soup. And then <laughs> who walks in to, to meet with him but Stan Lee. Stan Lee. And it's William Shatner. Stan Lee and William. We moved from sitting next to Frank Stallone and his six buddies, take you back, to another seat where William Shatner was waiting for Stan Lee. Right. And both of their entourages showed up. And They're Shatner, pitching. while me and Jonathan and our good friend Jeff Nemo, you'll be on the show, Jeff. While was we I? were eating was together, right. Shatner is in the background pitching right, a show the, so stan you know it's about a supernatural spaceship that is lost in the universe you know, so he's pitching this whole show i'm I pitching a show i can't eat with that going on these are uh, first world problems in, in anyway Hollywood. so that's that's anyway, so that's kind of the type of stories so anyway we want to bring Tom you fawn began his career work, hey, so that's we a, want to bring you some stories about the people that we deal with the show our show right. our podcast our fawn cast whatever you want to call it is only going to be 15 minutes right. okay that's another big key we want yeah. 15 minutes as one a matter of fact just like the Jerry Lewis telethon can we have an update right now a time right do now do it for me what do is it the for time? me what the world needs All now right. some of our time? audience Wait, may not time? remember right time the time yeah. the time it's 8 minutes we got time we have 7 so let's minutes left seven Seven minutes. Ron Concomo, New York. You're on with Larry King. Mineola, New York. You're on the air. Minneapolis, Minnesota. New Paltz, New York. You're on the air. Patchogue, Long Island. Huntington, Long Island. <laughs> You're on the air. So that, the idea is we... That's we, actually where we're from. Huntington, that's right. Long Island, New York. We moved to California. We moved from Huntington to Huntington Beach, which is kind of <laughs> funny. Uh, vi- that, that, we palace Virtus for six that's months, another. but we, wait, wait, wait. we moved from uh, Huntington you, to Huntington Beach. Did you Huntington give them Beach. the goals for the podcast? Tommy, why don't you uh, bring up the goals? I for told the her broadcast. fifteen minutes. Right, fifteen minutes. Okay. Uh, We're gonna have meet a, people from the business. It's only us for the first episode. Right, it's only us right now. Because I know they're already pilot. sick of us. They're already Even though there's off. really nobody listening. <laughs> nobody listening. <laughs> Hi, yo. Old reference. Uh, anyway, so. Um, uh, yeah, so there's so we started like, with Chuck right. Berry, okay. and we got into that's this. right, Chuck Berry. Maybe, maybe so we should tell them a little bit about us. Well, aren't we doing that just by oh, talking right now? I guess, you know, I guess you're right, John. You mentioned Chuck Berry, and I wanted to say that I remember going to the Shore Theater in Huntington, Long Island, to right. see American Graffiti when well, I was 90 about cents it cost. 10 years old or whatever. And there was a great scene where Paula Matt and Mackenzie Phillips get out of their car, and they shaving cream the car in front, and, and it's playing? Johnny B. Good is playing. And oh, I think man. that was the first time I really I, the, I always heard loved, Chuck Berry. I always loved Chuck Berry, but what did it for me is that documentary... Hail, hail, rock and roll. I saw it in 1985, 86. Julian Lennon is in it. All, Linda Ronstadt's in it. All these great people are in it. 
and I wanted to get the DVD. I don't judge me. I still have DVDs. I still have VHS. Yes, uh, I don't have Betamax. So, Tom's a little uh, technology. Yeah, I'm a, I'm an analog guy sometimes. in the digital world. Analog guy, but he's really not because he <clears throat> does have a job where he works with yeah, but, million dollar equipment. Yeah, but that's something I have to do for a living. Right. Anyway, um, uh, Taylor Hackford's "Hail Hail Rock and Roll." Right. Get the DVD if you can. I went to Amazon today. What that's what people do after somebody famous dies. You know, they want right. to get all the seats. It's of just course. what we want to do. People will want this. Yeah. And this, after we die, they'll want this podcast. We'll want them to pay. We have to pay them to listen to this. Probably. Anyway, um, uh, can I get the applause again? All right. Anyway, um, uh, hail hail rock and roll. hail hail rock and roll. The DVD is now one hundred and fifty dollars. Well, that's, that's that's what happens that's, after. Uh, that's, but I know. saw that DVD. Keith Richards produces it. Steve Jordan right. is the drummer from the it's Blues good. Brothers. And they, John Lennon's in it. They Ju- have like, Julian Lennon's in it. Well, John, don't they well, have they in interviews of him Douglas. talking about remember, it? Did you watch the Mike Douglas show when you were growing up? I did. Sometimes. This is the reason why yeah. we are where we are. We grew up watching everything on television. Television in the 70s was everything. Right. You know? And then whatever my brothers watched, I ended up watching. We used to watch The Tonight Show almost every night. That's and right. we were expo- that was my exposure to Hollywood, seeing, yep. Yep. you know... Bob Hope right. and uh, hey, Burt Re- and Burt Reynolds and hey, all, these, wow. all these great people Brr. coming out on Carson. Hey, Elky Summer. <laughs> wow. Brr. Hey, Twiggy, right here. All right, no hey, more. Joanne no, no one knows who Bob Hope is Brr. anymore. All right, so what, Nobody, you, what nobody's... do you mean they don't know who Bob Hope is? That was Dan. That's our friend Dan. Wow. Okay. You, anyway, but nobody does it. We'll Dan. have Dan as a guest. Dan would be a great guest. Um, but um, so did we set up enough? Uh, of what I the show was going to be about. Enough, we're I in mean, desperate need yeah. of a guest, aren't we? But we have more r- r- room to vamp now. Yeah, okay, All right, well, good. we're from Huntington. We're originally from we New York. So we moved good. to California on the day Elvis Presley died. All August 16th. Life is true. <laughs> I gone down every highway. <laughs> and you my morning. What is a man? Oh, what has he got? Uh, yes, the day if Elvis not died. Hell, <laughs> then he has not. All right, so um, all right, all right. <laughs> Elvis Presley died on August sixteenth, nineteen seventy-seven, as the Fawn family in a two-car caravan were driving right. across the George Washington. We Bridge. actually we had C CB radios. No, no, that's C- how we contacted wait, each other. Wait, CD oh, CDs are the discs. Oh, we didn't have those CB anymore. radio. That's, that's what right. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, CB radio. So I, Dad, the old man had a CB radio. Yes, and Millie. Had our mother, God bless her soul, had a CB radio. What she did? I'm what just saying, it? God bless her soul, because okay, she's going to be so pissed off that we're about to do an impression of her. <laughs> anyway, so actually, God bless our souls. Um, Mickey, break a one nine, I got to pee. That's right, that's what it was like. A- and it came across the radio. Turn on the radio. I think Elvis died. What? Turn the radio on. Elvis died. Oh, my God. And then we heard, hey, why don't you get off the CB radio, okay, Breaker Breaker? We, we didn't, where were we, in Arkansas? We were driving. We so we, were we drove across the country. Again. It's correct. Right. And uh, I could tell you that at a young age, I, I was obsessed with Hollywood. We've always been obsessed. Tom used to have movies. I used to go books. to the Huntington Public Library with my friend David Kaplan, and we would look at slides of Hollywood, California. That's very good. So I think we would have eventually wound up in California. I think we were you think? obsessed you and I with the whole... Hollywood think? thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so when we came out here, it just seemed kind of, I mean, I was only 12, but it seemed natural to You know, you mentioned here. Elvis earlier, and i just like to ask you, are you lonesome <laughs> tonight? Okay. <laughs> Top three favorite Elvis Presley songs go. Elvis with Chuck Berry just All right, we're, we're going to go. Elvis Elvis let's go to Elvis. Presley. We just mentioned him. Definitely. Um, are you uh, lonesome tonight? No. Uh, you like that medley. Glory, glory. I can't, th- when you're talking to me, I, c- I can't think of things right <laughs> then now. Then I'll tell you. Here's my favorite Elvis songs. I have three favorites. Little yeah. Sister. I love yeah, Little Sister. Yeah. Uh, and I love uh, Crying in the Chapel. It's wow. very sentimental, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Are you crying in the chapel? And, I, and my third favorite is Memory. Memories edged upon <laughs> the pages of my mind. I think uh, uh, Burning Love is probably my favorite. Hunk a hunk of burning love. I love that song. And I love Hound Dog. Do you like it when I sing? I don't. He doesn't like when I sing, which means there'll be lots of singing. All right, now Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry. 
All right, well, should we have 30 seconds to what? we reach 15 minutes. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. All right, well, see, listen up, Summit. because we're going to have some great guests. We really are, and it's going to be way more interesting than this first episode, and we wish you all the best wherever you are. Right. Can we go out with some Chuck Berry? Sure we can. We can only play 10 seconds I until know. we're sued. Play it off. And I am Tom Fawn. And I'm Jonathan Fawn. And this is Magic Moments with, with the Fawn, Fawn Brothers. Brothers. Thank you for listening. Bye-o.